Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jared Miller from Simon, looking at not Bloodborne the card game. That's been out for a little while. Yeah, it came out last year. Uh, but the Hunter's Nightmare expansion yes. that is brand new. Yeah, so uh, Bloodborne Hunter's Nightmare is coming out in April. It's from Eric Lang and Chris Chung. Mm -hmm. With this one, we took a look at what the fans wanted more of, and what it was was basically they just wanted more of everything, so more monsters, more equipment, um, and we said, okay, we can do that. So in this box, we've effectively doubled what you received in the base game. Okay. Uh, so Bloodborne, it's based on the PlayStation 4 video game, and what we touched on in there was kind of what the... I would say what the core audience who maybe didn't finish the entire video game would have seen, right? Okay. But then the more uh, diehard people who actually made it, because it's a very difficult game, we went in and kind of started pulling out more of the lore, more of the creatures, more of the different bosses. So that's what this does. So we've got eight new final bosses okay. that come with the game. Um, we've got a ton of more monsters. That includes uh, just regular monsters and then kind of what are just called the regular bosses. So those are the mini bosses you fight in the Chalice Dungeon. Um, added a lot more of those. We added a lot more equipment, um, ranged, melee, um, again, just wet the Longarius wheel. So that was one that's kind of obscure, but the fans of Bloodborne, you know, were like, well, where are these? So okay. that's what they put in there. Um, and the monsters themselves, there's, they have new abilities on them that, you know, wouldn't have been on the previous ones. So there's kind of new excitement to fighting these monsters that were previous, same with the final bosses. Now, in addition to just adding more from the game, we added, they added a few new uh, gameplay elements. First being these rune cards. The rune cards are really neat because when you're setting up the game, you have those final bosses. That's the first thing that's shown because a final boss has an effect that runs throughout the entire game right. up until the final fight. The rune cards, after you pick the boss, everyone gets two of these cards and they can then pick one. And that is actually going to modify how some of their uh, cards and abilities work throughout the game. Okay. So you can choose one of those two because you may choose the one that helps you against that final boss's ability. You may choose one that just gives you a good base level benefit or one that maybe kind of is a little take that to your opponents. Okay, right? it's uh, right on the top here. Right, so this one for uh, the Odin Wrath, uh, whenever you deal damage to hunters, deal plus one damage. So that's just, no matter what you do, if you're doing it, dealing extra damage. Okay. There's another one that, um, depending on the effect, it will help you bank half your blood, which is great, because normally you have to go back with a, with a Hunter's Dream card to bank blood. Um, so these are really cool, and they change your play style. The other thing we heard a lot is, while it was difficult, they wanted it to be more difficult. So we can do that. Okay. Um, in the original game, there was the hunter's track here where you tracked your trophies. So whenever you kill the monster, they had these, uh, the bosses would have two, so they'd have these different symbols. If you were part of the, you were a group, part of the people who was able to take blood off and kill that monster in that turn, you would get one, uh, one each of the trophy pictures. So these would go up. So if I was up here, you know, that, that's tracking that. And that's how you get uh, additional points at the end of the game. However, because you die a lot, we've added <laughs> these death tokens in here that, let's say this monster kills me, the Dark Beast kills me. Uh, I actually move these tokens down one because okay. he's killed me. So these go over here. These cover up the eights. And it just lim eliminates that as a possibility. Yeah, these aren't going away. Right. That's where they are. If you die again to them, they go down. Die again, they go down. Die again. They actually push your points down. Okay. So that is, and again, these are these are optional. So if you don't want that punishment, you don't need to use them. But it does give you a kind of a benefit to actually maybe uh, choosing when you might need to run away instead of just going. I'm okay. just going to push for it, right? Because um, these will cap that. And all of this is 14.99. So you get double the game, new gameplay, and we wanted to put it out there at a good price for the people who had it. That made sense, and. Um, it's just a great way to kind of expand that game. In addition to that, I will say, when this comes out, we're pairing up a game night kit for friendly mm -hmm. local uh, stores, where uh, customers who uh, go to our store, if that store is part of our Simon Play program, they'll have uh, they'll be able to play in a game night that gets them an exclusive boss card, a miniature that replaces the cardboard token, and some sculpted tokens. Right. Only available at the stores where you go in and play the game. Right. So. So you can go encourage your store. Yes. To participate. Yep. Okay, and hopefully you teach it to more people.
Yes. While you're doing that. Yes. That's right. Ulterior motives <laughs> on here. Thanks for the review, Jared. You're welcome. Thank Hunter's you. Hunter's Nightmare.